In this short lesson, we are going to look at why an angle of attack indicator may be required, and we will look at the two types of indicator commonly in use on aircraft. In flight, a correct angle of attack is required for the safe and efficient operation of the aircraft. As the name implies, the angle of attack indicator provides a visual indication of the aircraft's angle of attack. The instrument is essential where precise control of speed is required, particularly on an approach path or climb out, and for realizing optimum performance in the cruise. The angle of attack indicator will also give an indication of an impending stall, and in advanced aircraft systems the angle of attack indicator will form part of the stall warning and prevention system. The lesson on principles of flight explains in detail the relationship between the angle of attack and aircraft performance. In this lesson, it is assumed the principles of flight are familiar. However, let's recap the definition of angle of attack. The angle of attack, or AOA, is defined as the angle formed between the wing cord line and the direction of the airflow. At any specific angle of attack, the airflow over some percentage of the wing surface will generate lift, as well as some amount of drag. For subsonic flight, both lift and drag coefficients increase as the angle of attack becomes larger. Maximum lift is usually obtained at a relatively high angle of attack. If the angle of attack is increased beyond this point, even by a small amount, the coefficient of lift reduces abruptly. We can see this in graph form if we represent the coefficient of lift with a red line. Notice how the coefficient of lift reduces rapidly as an angle of attack of 16 degrees is approached. On the other hand, notice how the coefficient of drag CD, shown here with a blue line, continues to increase as the angle of attack increases. At excessively high angles of attack, we can see this will lead to inefficient flight. And if the angle of attack is increased still further, it will lead to a stall, in this case around an angle of attack of 16 degrees. The angle of attack is therefore an ideal reference point for stall warning or stall prevention systems. Integral to an angle of attack indicator system is the angle of attack sensor. There are two types of angle of attack sensors in general use. They are the slotted probe, and the floating vane sensor. Both types are protected against ice formation by heaters and they are usually mounted on either side of the front fuselage. Let's look at the slotted probe first. The slotted probe sensor consists of a probe with two slots in the surface facing the oncoming airflow and works on the principle that as the angle of attack varies, the amount of air pressure in the slots will vary also. Air pressure in the probe is transmitted through separate air passages to opposite sides of a paddle in a paddle chamber, as we can see here. Variations in air pressure caused by changes in airstream direction cause an imbalance of the air pressures that are acting on the paddle, and the paddle will rotate on a shaft until the pressures are equalised. The rotary movement of the shaft drives a potentiometer, or synchro, and the output is used to position a pointer on an angle of attack indicator. The second type of angle of attack sensor we will look at is the vane or floating vane sensor. This is a common type and it is used on a large variety of aircraft. The floating vane sensor consists of an aerodynamic floating vane which pivots to position internal synchro transmitters. In flight, the vane will take up a position which is parallel to the airflow passing over it. 
Changes in the airflow direction will therefore cause a rotational movement of the vane and an attached rotor. The rotational position is transformed by a transmitter into an electrical output, which is proportional to the angle of attack. As with the slotted probe type sensor, the electrical output can be used to position a pointer on an angle of attack indicator. Any destabilizing effects of turbulence are overcome by a viscous damper in the damping section of the transmitter. The angle of attack sensor also incorporates a vane heater which prevents condensation and reduces changes in the damper fluid viscosity. The angle of attack indicator provides a visual indication of the aircraft's angle of attack. The instrument is essential where precise control of speed is required and for realizing optimum performance in the cruise. The angle of attack indicator may form part of the stall warning and prevention system. The angle of attack indicator is an ideal reference point for stall warning or stall prevention systems. The angle of attack or AOA is defined as the angle formed between the wing cord line and the direction of the relative airflow. The principle of the slotted probe sensor is that changes in air pressure cause a rotary movement of the paddle. The movement is converted into an electrical output to drive an angle of attack indicator. The principle of the floating vane sensor is that changes in airflow direction cause a rotary movement of a floating vane. The movement is converted into an electrical output to drive an angle of attack indicator. Both types are protected against ice formation by heaters. Angle of attack sensors are usually mounted on either side of the front fuselage.